Hello everyone and welcome back. I missed you guys so much. I disappeared for almost a year and today I'm back with a little show and tell. First, I want to show you how I've been using my A6 Gelio Blush Croco and second thing I want to show you is my senior size Vanderspeck Stardust that I ordered back in July of 2020 and I got it last week. So let's start off with this one. But I gotta say up front that it's not the company's fault it showed up late. It's totally on me. Uh, well, on my country's postal service to be precise, but it's a very long messed up story and I don't wanna bore you with details. I'm just glad it's over. Uh, so first let's talk about the customization that I got this time. I got this planner as a present to myself after I gave birth to my son. After 16 hours of unmedicated labor, I said to myself, girl go get yourself your unicorn because you deserve that so i went a little extra this time i got square corners chunky clasp secretarial flap big back pocket and a flight leaf i also asked for four card slots instead of five and i asked for a bicolor piece of hide and I can say without shadow of a doubt that this is my ultimate unicorn. Once again, Petra turned my dream into reality. So before I move into this beauty, I want to show you my Gilio that I've been using since November of 2020. And I use it far more often than I show on social media simply because I don't have energy to create a flat lay, take pictures, edit them and all that, but I still enjoy every minute of my planning routine. So my Gilio is a PGD planner, which means it has an insignificant imperfection. And in my case, it's right here on the back. It looks like an ink stain that they tried to rub off and it left a mark and there is another one on the back of the fly leaf it looks like a small piece of leather just peeled off it's right here i hope you can see these imperfections don't bother me at all if anything i prefer it this way because i have a fear of using and it's easier for me to use a planner that is not perfect to begin with. And on top of that, uh, PGD planners are cheaper. I got this one with like 10% off, so I'm happy. So um, right here is my favorite Ollie clip. This is large rose garden clip. In my back pocket, I just have some receipts, so I'm not gonna show that. Um, inside I have some goodies from cloth and paper, sticky notes, a freebie that came with my order, um, a little transparent journaling card, my favorite page flags, and I also have two Instax pictures of my boys. Aren't they something? Um, so this is a laminate sheet that I hole punched and this is where I put page flags from my test cards and also sticky notes with things that I need to do ASAP. Uh, these are my task cards, inspired, of course, by Maddie Plans. Cloth and paper vellum, more page flags, another task card, cloth and paper card, cloth and paper vellum, a freebie from Maddie Plans, and this is a card from edits. I printed this on this linen cardstock. This is a freebie from Smitten Agenda and behind this I have a yearly bundle from Infinite Lotus. Um, this is from EO Edits and I love how it looks paired together with this cover page from UNI Graphics. I'm just obsessed over this spot. Um, and I highly recommend checking out UNI Graphics on Etsy for $10 you get like 15 or 20 cover pages for every size that exists. Um, it's a good deal and this is not the only design that she has. So here's my inbox. 
nothing has changed except for the insert that I use. I switched from PP Co to Poppin Pages Co and it is actually a freebie from her website and it looks kind of similar to Infinite Lotus. They're the same minimalistic style. So Again, EO edits. And here's my monthly. The inserts are from Poppin Pages Co. I use them mainly for goal setting and I also mark down important events and days when I go to the gym. Next is my weekly section. Yeah, right here. And this is the section that I use the most. My inserts are from Infinite Lotus. I like to keep it minimal, just black ink, dewdrop stickers, and my favorite brush pans. So these are the three colors that I like to use. And the pan that I use here, it's still the same. It's my favorite, Zero Sarasa 0.5. So that's what my weeks look like. Cotton paper, morning mindset card. And next section is daily. I don't use the section every day. I only use it to plan out busy days when I need more space because I use week on one page, which is not nearly enough for days like these. Uh, by the way, my dividers are from cloth and paper. These are girl gang um, side tab foil, white foil dividers. Very thick, very durable. And I feel like I need to get a matching page marker. So next is my habit tracker, which is pretty much self-explanatory. This is from EO Edits again. And next is my health log. I do a checkup every eight months just to see what's going on inside of my body. I usually check my thyroid, I check for anemia markers, blood sugar, and I used to check up my hormone levels because I have a polycystic ovary syndrome which went into hibernation now that I'm breastfeeding. So here I track my meals and dietary habits. One of my goals for 2021 is to exclude meat products from my diet and as you can see i'm doing pretty good so far oh and this insert is from puffin pages go and i'm pretty positive it was a freebie but i'm not 100 sure um and this is how i meal plan i started last year mainly because i didn't know enough meatless recipes and because of that i really needed to plan ahead so some days we eat plant-based food, some days we eat fish and seafood, and some days we order a takeout so I can catch a break from cooking. So yeah, meal planning has been a real lifesaver and money saver because when I walk into a supermarket without a plan, I end up getting a lot of snacks um, that I don't need most of the time. This card is from Sequence and Paper. It's available in her Etsy shop and it's available as a printable in half letter size. I have to resize it before printing. And this is my favorite section so far. This is my project planner. I'm just gonna flip through some of my projects. so pretty and here come the babies first I have 
Onyx's vaccination log. My baby's log. And some empty note pages. And next is finance. My husband is the one who's doing our financial planning right now. So I just keep track of my most recent purchases and that's it. So, or uh, expenses tracker, order tracker. And next section is lists. So I have a grocery list divided into categories. Cleaning list, because it's time for a spring cleaning. Packing list. Wish list. Stationary wish list. My planner collection. And um, these pages are from Sterling Inc. on Etsy. This is just um, gift ideas for my friends and family, uh, books I want to read, movies and series I want to watch. Um, this is from Paper Desk Designs. And this is my ugly content planner. This gorgeous vellum is from Sterling Inc. So inside of my back pockets, I have my routine cards and um, in case of emergency cards. And that's all for today. Please let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, let me know what video do you want me to film next. I'm thinking of filming a quick silent flip of my Stardust. Um, my inserts are going to stay the same, I'm just going to switch the deco. So how do you feel about that? Or maybe you want me to film um, a side-by-side -side comparison between two Krakow planners. I can do that. If you have any other ideas, share them in the comments. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.